Hello everybody and welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. It is time, once more, because it's Monday, for our weekly painting progress. Hopefully all you American friends out there had a nice 4th of July. It looked like a war zone out in front of our house, but it was quite enjoyable and we ate too much food and I did manage to still paint a couple models. So first off the bat we got a random Pathfinder gnome, if I remember correctly, from... One of the various Reaper Bones Kickstarters. So we did a very quick paint job just to get him done, just to say he's finished. And unfortunately, I went too crazy with the Agrix Earthshade, and now you can't see his eyes. It's all overshadowed, so I probably need to go back and fix that. If I remember, I think he's supposed to have like a big birdie spirit thing that goes with him, but I could be wrong. And let's see what else. A couple other random Reaper models. Or snappy alligator friend here who I am somewhat content with. He just needed to be done. <laughs> like, I, he sat there with various shades of browns and grays, and it just, I'm tired of it. He needs to be finished. Along with another Reaper Bones model. This one I went too wild with a bad brush, and unfortunately my local store does not have the brushes I like in stock right now, so I need to go back and fix her eyes. But this is another plastic Reaper Bones Dwarf Priestess model, I believe? I'm not even sure. We'll set her there to the side as I jiggle the camera way too much. Gotta get that adjusted. Still learning how to use this thing. And let's see what other models do we build. We finally finished Weird Wendell for Riot Quest. There's a new Riot Quest Kickstarter this week, actually. I, in fact, I think it's tomorrow. Maybe I should finish up my other Riot Quest models. But anyway, he is... Armed with a sing ling shot, I'm not a sing shot, a slingshot that launches gremlins. Because why not? I think that's one of the things I really like about the Riot Quest models is they just stopped making logical sense and they're just doing whatever they feel like. So cool. In addition to that, I cannot remember her name, but this is the uh, Morrowind equivalent. Crucible Guard type model, but she is part of Riot Quest. She is wearing big, heavy power armor on a 40 millimeter base, and she's got her little stuffed animal tied onto her hip joint of the armor right there. And I did a terrible job on the eyes. Again, I needed a new detail brush, and I can't go get it. At least not in person. Might have to get one off the internet. So those two are done, and I probably have almost enough people to actually play a non-duplicate match of Riot Quest now. Of course, it'd be nice having an opponent to play with in person. We also painted up a bunch of Steel Legion models for Conquest, and not a single one matches the other, because why would they, right? But I just did a very quick and dirty paint job. Silver, gold, brown, lighter brown highlights, which really can't be seen now, and some blues and a little bit of black. And I'm calling them finished. I really dig these guys. I think they've got the big, epic, bulky knight look that I'm always looking for for generic human types. And they're so much larger than some of the other stuff out there. Not only in terms of conquest size, but just in size of other models as well. And then we got this random R in a studio girl done. I don't know if she's part of any specific line or brand that they have, but she is scantily clad wearing the top half of a mech suit with blaster hands and a giant cannon. So it's just kind of a random fun model. Something different. Something very different. And let's see. I think that's all the models that actually were purchased. And the rest were all printed. Trying to get through them. We had another leftover guy from Battle Yak Miniatures. Who I'm quite sad that I don't have a working printer right now. Because they've got these really interesting looking Space Marine slash Doom Slayer type guy mix up thing going on that looked really fun to print but we'll get to them eventually so i got the last one of these guys done 
back isn't as bad as the others, and I just now realized I didn't do his stitches. Oh, barf. We'll have to fix that. Okay. A random E3CD. I think that's the right name. Who is finishing up a spaceship Kickstarter right now, but this was from his Space Guys. It's all a single piece. No supports needed, except I broke the base trying to get him off the build plate. That was fun. Basically, he's like a Vesk or whatever they are for Starfinder. And then I printed up two of Ian Lovecraft's Viking models. Oh, and this totally looks like the girl from uh, Vikings. Starts with an L. Lagritha, I think, or something like that. Came out really nice. I actually, I, I was quite pleased with how the model printed because this was right before my screen died on me and she came out okay. Quite a few of the other models that I printed at the time did not. That is a really lame looking shield pattern, but I don't care. Everything else turned out quite nice. And then she's got her friend here who is literally wearing a bear skin. If she can get in focus there. Her axe and a horn. my help a little bit the details are there it's a nice model and then we got another of the thieves guild finished up from raging heroes and i'm quite pleased with how she turned out she's covered in throwing knives and what was neat was this model actually had an option you could have her with a bow and arrow instead and she's still wearing the quiver for some bizarre reason and finally, we painted up a poorly printed, and this is entirely my fault, model from the Maker's Cult. I don't remember if this one was on Thingiverse or as part of their Patreon, but it's basically a captain-type dude in Terminator armor. And I didn't know what to put on his back banner, so we put Squiggly Lion for Alien Languages. But yeah, um, close up, it's a lot more apparent, and I'm not going to get too close up, because you don't need to see what a poor job I did. But I think paint-wise, it came out all right. It's very ultramarine-ish, but I, I like the blue and gold, so my apologies. But overall, not a bad haul this week. I'm just trying to clear out a lot of the stuff that has been started and has yet to be finished. I don't think I started anything new this week. A lot of these models have been sitting around, they just needed to get done. So thankfully they are, and I can move on to some bigger and badder projects that'll probably take me even longer to finish. So, fingers crossed we'll get to those, and hopefully you guys are all dealing with your projects as well. We'll keep on plugging away here, and hopefully you guys are too. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.